Let's talk about five points in social media marketing that most people aren't aware of, particularly the older generation. I think a lot of younger people are aware of these points. They've grown up with this being common knowledge, but most people in the older generation used to the old format of doing business aren't familiar with these points and it's so important. So I'm going to try and add value to your business today by giving you these points. Point number one, value. Point number two, value to offer ratio. Point number three, content types. Point number four, content delivery pipeline. Point number five, consistency. Okay, let's break it down and we'll go through it one by one. Value, value, value. Now, in today's social media marketing world, and in fact, today's world in general, particularly online business, you have to deliver value. Now, what does that mean? It doesn't mean that you can say, okay, we've got a, a coupon today that's 10% off, okay? 10% off. Now, people are going to ignore that. They're going to say, well, I don't care. I can get 10% off anywhere. You need to deliver value in the form of what people want to read, what people want to consume. For example, this video, I'm delivering this as value to you. I'm not asking anything in return. I'm just giving it to you as value. Maybe down the track, you may purchase something from my website or a website that I'm promoting. But that's not the point. The point is to give value to you so you pay attention and you become loyal to the brand, okay? Deliver value. So let's talk about an example. We're gonna make a video and we're gonna make a video about five points in social media marketing, okay? We're gonna deliver this video to the internet and we're gonna hope that maybe down the track in a year's time, six months time, whenever, that this video might prove helpful to someone and someone might spend money on our store, okay? The same can be applied with any business. Let's say you are a uh, dentist, okay? You're a dentist and you think, how can I provide value to the internet? It's very simple. It's like this. You can make a short video on, okay, let's talk about tooth decay with children. Tooth decay with children and we're going to call it tooth decay video. Okay, you might make that on your iPhone, you have your partner filming you, or you put the phone on a tripod to film it yourself, and you make a short one minute, two minute video every week, every Monday morning, every Tuesday morning, for example, about tooth decay for children. You post that on your social media platforms and that becomes value. You do that consistently, point number five, consistency and consistently, persistently, consistent and consistently persistent is what a great man once told me now you need to do that you need to deliver that tooth decay video on a monday then the next monday you do something else about um, how to how to floss properly okay and you do this consistently over and over and over and by doing this you are offering value in the form of a pyramid you're offering value here v-a-u-l-u value <laughs> value my spelling is atrocious, as you can see. Value, and then down the line, down the pipeline, you're offering more value, more value, and eventually you may sell something to that particular customer or a friend of that particular customer. Okay, let's talk about value to offer ratio. You need to offer value um, in, a, in relation to your offer, your offer being what you want to sell. You need to offer value at no less than a five to one ratio. Okay, five to one. I would prefer that you do 10 to one. You offer 10 value items, value giving products to the world, to the internet, in the form of your video, your blog post, your, your education, okay? You're giving something to the, to the audience. Five times, and after every time you've done five, you can do one offer, okay? five to one. Now this works the same with a blog post. Let's say you have a blog post and you have five paragraphs, five to one, okay? Content, value, content, value, content, value, over and over again, giving someone something for free that they want. And eventually you can say down the bottom one time, by the way, we offer this as a service on our website if you're interested, okay? It's not a big, Bam, it's not straight in their face. It's just a subtle offer. Five to one, okay? Five 
five to one. Now, if you have enough content on your um, in your pipeline, you can offer ten to one. I would prefer. 10 to 1 because what that means is that a customer who's tuned into your brand and they're looking at your social media posts they know that they're going to get 10 value offers before they're even approached for one uh, sorry 10 value items before they're approached for one offer okay and people that people will tune in they will be loyal to your brand they're getting 10 things for free uh, to educate them before you even try to sell them something very very important the old way of doing things was just to go to the uh, television or the newspaper or, or a billboard and say okay 20% off on our product 20% uh, off product okay buy this now we want you to buy this now buy this now buy this now people tune out they tune out they're not interested if you offer them something that's educational and that they value they will tune in okay then you have them it's also called the jab 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 hook so you give 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 ask give 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 ask it works in it, it works in blog posts it works in video content it works in photographs um, Instagram my personal Instagram page is or account is five uh, street photography posts okay and then one post about my business yeah, five to one. Very important. Otherwise, people will start to unsubscribe, unfollow, tune out. Content types. We talked about this a little bit before. Content types. Uh, you can look at the, the the content needs to be organic. Okay, I'm standing here in a t-shirt. I'm not not uh, too worried about it. I've I've got my tattoos showing. I don't care. What people care about is the content, the author authenticity of the content. So, the content has to be real real content so I would sh I would suggest filming in your car you've had a, a, a brainstorm an idea put your phone on um, on a holder in on the windscreen of your car stop your car pull off to the side of the road obviously film a little uh, blast okay that becomes so authentic so real then you can put that out on your Facebook business page later that week or later that day or later that month do this frequently record little one minute snippets about you know how to help with with uh, children's teeth if you're a doctor and you run a doctor's uh, surgery or clinic you can do little um, pieces on how to protect your lower back how to sit properly in a chair for lumbar support okay how to use a swiss ball sit on a swiss ball to protect your your lumbar curve when you're doing computer work all day long content types let's talk about instagram Instagram can be uh, street photography, it can be uh, food photography, whatever. But again, make the content uh, something that people want to see. Not just your personal interest, but something people want to see relative to your theme, your brand, of course. Let's talk about the content delivery pipeline. Now, it's very, very important that you stick to a pipeline. Typically, this is where you would employ a marketing uh, company or marketing agency because their job is to stick to the pipeline. However, you can do it yourself. I'm going to explain to you how you can do it yourself. Let's talk about week one, week two, week three, week four. Okay, one, two, three, four, and even week five. You want to be, you want to have campaigns scheduled ahead of time. Okay, our mail out list, our Mailchimp list, is scheduled four weeks in advance. Okay, we write a two thousand word blog every week that takes a week to write, and that gets scheduled for Mailchimp. That's going to go out in four weeks' time. Okay, and that is scheduled. That's scheduled every single week. So we are four weeks in advance. We have another two thousand word blog scheduled here that's going to go out up here okay today's content that's hitting people right now as i'm filming this video it's, it's going out automatically was produced four weeks ago okay now you can apply this strategy or this pipeline to um, events that are happening in your city in your state in your province so let's say you have the melbourne cup coming up in uh, a month's time from today we want to start a promotion. We want to promote uh, a Melbourne Cup based promotion in four weeks time. We want to be working on that now, no later than a month, sorry, 
yeah, no later than a month ahead of time. Work on the promotion now, get it in the pipeline so you can sit back comfortably and go, you know what, we've got a buffer zone of four weeks. We've got a Melbourne Cup promotion. It, we did it four weeks ago. It's happening next weekend for the Cup. We're all tuned in. Okay, the same goes with your Facebook. Facebook and um, MailChimp allow you to schedule in advance. The only uh, platform that doesn't at the moment, the mainstream one, is Instagram. You need to post to Instagram uh, live as you do it, okay? But schedule, have your pipeline full and set this pipeline in your calendar, okay? Mondays, uh, schedule MailChimp. Sundays, finish a blog. Uh, Saturdays, uh, do Pinterest, okay? Uh, you know, Fridays, do Instagram have it in a pipeline, have it in your calendar, programmed in. Again, this is what you would pay a digital marketing agency to do for you and to come up with the ideas as well for the content, okay? But you can do it yourself, but you need to be, uh, you need to have that pipeline constantly full and constantly flowing, constantly dripping out that value content at the end of, the, of, each, uh, of each four weeks, okay? Consistency, you need to be consistent. This is, the, this is the biggest issue, it should really be point number one. People aren't consistent, they say, you know what, uh, we're not busy today, let's do some Facebooking for our business page. That's not good enough. Your, your viewers are gonna tune out because they know you're not consistent. If they know you are consistent, they're gonna tune in. Most successful YouTube vloggers will always tell their customer, Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday's video, Tuesday's tips, you know, because it's a regular thing. The customer goes, oh, that's every Tuesday. Okay, cool, let me subscribe, yeah? If you just go, you know what, I've just had a spare five minutes and we're gonna do a, 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 a vlog about our caravan park or our doctor's studio or a holiday park, it's not gonna fly. People are gonna, they might look at it, but they won't subscribe, they won't tune in, they won't become loyal to your brand. So you need to be consistent. I would advise doing uh, content, a mail out content every week, weekly, weekly to two times a week, okay? Uh, Facebook business page, you need to be doing that probably 18 to 30 times a month, okay? Almost, almost every day, every second day, offering a value point, five to one, okay? Not offering a special every second day, people will unsubscribe. Uh, consistency, consistency, consistency. Do it again, again, again. If you get your pipeline organized and your calendar in uh, giving you pop-ups saying, hey, it's time to do your vlogging, as we're doing right now, by the way, you'll do it. You'll schedule it ahead of time, you'll do it. If you just make it hit and miss, and you go, you know what, we're gonna do a bit here, a bit here, a bit here, a bit here. There's no, there's no flow, there's no consistency, there's no pipeline, and you will not get consistent subscribers following your brand, becoming loyal to your brand, okay? I hope this has helped you guys. Um, it's really important to stick to these five points. Uh, again, it's, it's something that's pretty common knowledge with the younger generation, but maybe not so common knowledge with the older generation, and they're still stuck in the old, old format of how to sell things. Try to get your head around doing the hard work, and it is a lot of hard work, but it will pay off long term. Don't forget that these value items can sit on your website as assets. Then you filmed that video about Tooth Decay, it's sitting there. You can use that video maybe every six months, put it out in a, an email blast or whatever. They become assets. The more you do, the more you have. You wanna to get to the point where you've got so many value assets, you can put out 10 to every one offer for someone to buy something, okay? Hope that's helped. Have a good day.